We're used to seeing our area's marching bands under those Friday night lights, but this weekend they'll we'll see them, I should say, on Saturday as well. Bands from all over our area will be traveling to Panama City to compete in a somewhat of a battle of the bands at Tommy Oliver Stadium. News 13's Emily McLeod joins us live in our studios. Emily, this is a big deal for our area's marching bands, isn't it? Oh yeah, you bet, Tom. Marching bands from Jackson to Holmes to right here in Bay County will, will participate in the Florida Bandmasters Association Marching Band Music Performance Assessment. The sound of the roaring thunder at Dean Bozeman is busy, busy getting ready for the competition. Let's okay. join band. <laughs> um, join the band. Band is fun. Join band and can't wait to see you Saturday. Despite the hard work it takes to be a part of a marching band, members of the Sound of Roaring Thunder at Dean Bozeman say they love everything about it. The band is awesome. The Bozeman Marching Band is just one of 14 schools participating in the Florida Bandmasters Association Marching Band Music Performance Assessment. Students say mastering the basics are key to successful performance. It's a lot of footwork. You'll, uh, if you have seen us practice, you'll hear beat. Freshman clarinet player Lyndon Glover says his experience will help him on Saturday. Um, last year I wasn't as experienced and a bit now I'm not as nervous. I'm a bit more confident in my playing and also a little bit more skilled. So that's all going to be in play on the field. And senior drum major Melina Jones says making the most of their time during practice will also be a factor. Here it's precious time that we get Mr. Pereira and Ms. Jarvis to be able to teach us things that we don't know or we might have practiced wrong. Uh, we have our band camp over the summer where is really the basis and the foundation for the rest of our season. So if all those things come together and go well, we should have a successful season. First year band director Giovanni Pereira says the band's mindset is crucial when it comes to their performance. If the mindset isn't there, I mean, I can throw anything at them and it, w it wouldn't make a difference. But if everybody's on the same page, then that's how, we, how we're going to be successful. The Bozeman Band has a variety of ages in their program, but that doesn't make the competition any easier. Even if you're an eighth, we have eighth graders in this band, so those eighth graders have to do the same exact things that the seniors are doing, all at the same level. The competition will begin at 3 o'clock this Saturday at Tommy Oliver Stadium, and tickets are $7 each. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Emily.